For more than a week now, we have watched the largest wildfire in state history sweep through the panhandle in West Texas, leaving destruction in its wake. As firefighters continue to combat those flames, many have started asking what they can do to ensure that their own property is prepared with the caveat that even the best prepared properties can't overcome certain conditions. Real estate reporter Anna Butler with the Dallas Morning News is with us this morning to talk more about that. Hi there, Anna. Hi, thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. So you actually talked to landowners about practical tactics for fire preparedness. What did they tell you? You know, um, and I will definitely kick off with, with this piece here, especially right, um, that there are certain conditions that you cannot fend against. And so with something like the Smokehouse Creek fire, um, a perfect storm of high speed winds and dry weather, I mean, just completely swept through even the best prepared lanes. We now so know the smoke. What we're talking about here are kind of those tactics that we want to have um, in order to, to just prepare and prevent if we can. Um, I just want to just wanted to set the stage with that piece of it. But really, um, the thing that you can do as a property owner um, is it's around vegetation control is the first thing. Uh, that means just clearing underbrush, trimming trees and the like. Um, it's easier or harder for a fire to spread um, if it's not so easy for it to spread with dry things around. Um, the second thing that you're going to want to do um, are these natural fire breaks. And so we have have these that are just in Texas. So if you think about rivers and creeks, those are natural fire breaks. A fire break is just something that makes it a little bit more difficult um, for a fire to spread because it has to jump through something. So roads, infrastructure, highways are those other things. Ranchers will have things called fire guards. So along their fence lines, they'll go through with a motor grader um, and take things down um, along the fence line to dirt and minerals um, just to have that one more fire break prevention a lot of the time. And then, of course, access to water um, on larger properties. You'll see things like a trailer um, on with on with a water tank on it um, that can be hooked up to a UTV or some sort of truck or something and even old fire trucks. But those are just kind of the basics uh, when it comes to fire preparedness, especially on a larger property. What are you have you been hearing from people about their immediate needs, what they need right now? Um, really, those immediate needs beyond those ones um, for the people that have suffered. Um, ranchers themselves have called for water and hay. The thing that we probably haven't seen as much about in the news so far, though, is the actual wildlife that we have. And so there are feed needs for the wildlife out there. And so for deer, hogs, porcupines and everything in between, um, their feed source has essentially been burned up. And so those are really the major ones right now um, that probably hasn't been as addressed um, that that really could uh, use a helping hand. All right, Anna Butler with the Dallas Morning News. Thank you so much for being with us. And you can read more of Anna's work right now on DallasNews.com.